call it green and cheek, yeah. Oh, love your family. Love your family. Mm. 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 Oh, good morning, y'all. Good afternoon. Good evening. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Mental House with me, your host, Khadija. Okay, this, um, this is, you know, I want to know what y'all think about this because, you know, sometimes it's difficult. Hold on a minute. Wait a minute. It's, it's real difficult. Shit. Ugh. Trying to kick them damn drugs and alcohol demons. Listen, I'm telling you, I know. I ain't telling y'all about nothing I read. I'm telling you about what I lived. So I have a special and a soft spot in my heart. Because, see, not only does you dealing with the physical, um, uh, I mean, the mental aspect of it. Then you got the physical. You got all this stuff, which... You know, people don't think about that, you know, and then the issues that we don't deal with in our emotional and mental world is why we end up in that situation, why we end up. So my my heart right now go out to uh, Wendy. My heart goes out very, very. I'm, I'm, I'm worried about my sister. And I hope she pulled through. Look, when you start getting up in your up in age, I'm just gonna keep it real. You in your fifties and your sixties, and you know, and the person you've been with half your life, you might have known they was messing around, but it never got ugly to the point where you know you. I mean, whatever your arrangement was, of course, when you um, talk a lot of crap, sometimes you have to pay the piper. And there's a lot of that going around too, but I don't wish no hate field stuff on nobody because I wouldn't want nobody to hate on me like that. And so right now, Wendy Williams is going through a lot and I know what it is because you don't want to get this old. And now when you go into the twilight of an empire that you didn't built with somebody, his ass was somebody else and they got a baby. Okay. And you really... You know, at 50, yeah, you done gone out and you done doing that. I ain't speaking for Wendy, okay? I'm just saying, when you get this age, you know, and you've been with somebody such a long time, you know, yeah, you can go ahead and start to meet people. And that's cool. But in the back of my mind, I'm always like, eh, you know, who? I I, I don't, I, I can just enjoy it. You know, I don't know. Uh, I have to take it so slow because I spend so much time with somebody else. And that's the most reasonable, honest thing a person, when they get this old, can really say when it comes to breaking up. You know, but don't nobody want to get this old and be them broke up in the damn relationship? I mean, it's nothing. And a lot of times people go right down the tube, especially you men. So in case y'all out there laughing, especially y'all. When y'all asses get divorced past 50, y'all don't last too long. Anybody know what I'm talking about? I mean, seriously. Um, I want y'all to leave a comment, too. on Because a lot of folks don't know that, you know, when you get involved with somebody and you're sharing those endorphins and you're sharing those body fluids and you, 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 you know, you, you feel them on the pillow. You, you know, you, you, you feel them and you everywhere and then all of a sudden you don't have that anymore you have to adjust and Williams ain't adjusting very well she was admitted to the hospital last week with psychiatric issues a source told the son that she has been drinking every day before admission Williams in 2020 told viewers that she had been sober at the sober house for months she has also been open about her multiple medical conditions and struggles. Because, of course, that happens to us, too, as we begin to get older, you know. On Wednesday, she announced that she had a breakthrough COVID infection. 
as sources said they are concerned about the future of the Wendy Williams show. Okay? And they should be. She looks extremely bad, you guys. Extremely sick. Um, on her, on her, she's dealing with some ongoing health issues. Wow. William said to an insider, she may have been drinking every day, even while filming the show. You know, they got a picture of her going into the hospital with her mask. Um, she just doesn't look very healthy. You know, at all. And she's trying to keep it together. Looks like she's out in uh, Los Angeles somewhere. She was seen leaning on the arm of an assistant as she entered her building. Wendell has, Wendy has been open about her uh, drug use. She looks like, um, and her health issues, she, she very much looks sick. Somebody is walking up there and with her. She said, no, it says she's arrived at New York City apartment in silk robe and socks. Wow. She looks extremely sick, you guys. And I hope you're okay, sister. Um, and I hope you fully recover from whatever is bothering you. Williams has been open with viewers about her struggles with Graves' disease, hyperthyroidism, lymphoderma, and substance abuse issues. She checked into the sober living house in 2019 after divorcing her husband of 20 years, Kevin Hunter, when he cheated on her. She told the viewers in April, I'm moving out of the sober house in just a few days, and it'll be windy on her own. I have to tell you, you know, I've been dealing with issues, my addictions, alcoholism, and I have a whole new life plan for myself. Wendy just don't look happy. She doesn't look happy. And uh, sister, um, I'm just going to give you a word of advice. And I know you ain't going to hear this. Today. I'm praying for you. And it ain't nothing worth all this. You know, it really ain't. Sometimes you have to step back. Take a look. If you made money, fulfill your obligations. Sometimes you have to step back and do what's best for you because it's clear that you need some help. And it's clear that um, you can't do it sitting in front of that camera every day. Okay, I said what I'm going to say. Y'all tell me what y'all think. Have you seen how Wendy is looking? She's looking really, really bad. Scary. And I love my sister, Wendy. You know, so, uh, 